there, it's Kat, and this is Brews and Reviews. So today I thought that I would review the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of 2018. I'm not holding out much hope. Let's just say I don't think that I have read half the things I said that I wanted to read, and I've read a lot of things that I didn't say that I wanted to read, so, you know. <laughs> so first I'm going to take a look at the notebook that I jotted down a bunch of things from, and we'll see how much I actually succeeded in doing. I'm really not holding out very much hope for this, but, I mean, we'll see. First up we have series that I wanted to finish in 2018. I'm going to list them and then I'll go through them with you. So first we have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, then Graceling Trilogy, then Grisha Trilogy, uh, the Prince of Thorns Trilogy, the Atlantis Gene Trilogy, uh, the Red Rising Trilogy, the Wayward Children books, Mistborn Trilogy, the Mortal Instruments, and an Ember in the Ashes. So a lot of trilogies, weirdly, not necessarily just series, but you know. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, I did not succeed in I did not pick up the second book at all. Um, I don't know why. I think it just it wasn't... I wasn't in the mood to read it and I feel like I kind of want to read the first one again and get into sort of the, the thing. I heard quite a few slightly negative reviews about the third one and I was like, <sighs> do I love... and I just sort of never got around to it. The Graceling Trilogy, I am currently reading the third and final book in that series, so hopefully that one will be finished by the end of the year. Then we have the Grisha Trilogy, which I absolutely loved. I finished that earlier in the year. Let's check that one off the list because I did it! Not gonna hear that much more. Next is Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence, and I actually did finish that one, which I was a bit surprised about. I actually finished that one in January, because I kind of, once you got into that series, you read the second one, and then it was like, oh my god, I need to read the third one now. So that was a really easy one to finish. Next is the Atlantis Gene series, and I just didn't, I didn't pick the next ones up. I definitely need to reread the first one if I'm going to continue with this, and yep, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Then we have the Red Rising trilogy, which I did also finish this year, and that is one of my favourite book series, just in general now. I absolutely loved it, and uh, I thought that the series just got better and better. Like, the first one was really good, and then the, third, the second and third books were just... ha! Ah, I love them so much. <laughs> I did read the second and third Wayward Children books. I know the series isn't finished, but up till now I've caught up. And I didn't enjoy the third book very much, though I'm not a cotton candy kind of nonsense world kind of girl, so I found that one was quite hard to stomach, whereas I preferred the first and second books. I just enjoyed the world and like the characters that were in them a bit more. Born Trilogy, um, so I was planning to read the first one, like reread it and then continue with it, and uh, it just didn't read any of them, did I? Did I? Then we have An Ember in the Ashes. Um, so the plan was to have read the first and the second one and then read the third one because then I'd be caught up in time to read that third one when it came out and I just have no interest in A Reaper at the Gates after reading A Torch Against the Night. No interest at all. I don't even, like, it doesn't even cross my mind to read it because I, I just hated the second book so much and I find it, I don't think you can bring it back from that. I think that the characters became like just really dull and the story was just unredeemable for me so I'm not going to be finishing that one ever uh, but I did catch up up to the point the third one came out but, oh. and the last series that I said I was going to finish was the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare because everyone and their mother has read that series so the main bulk of the series I actually did finish I read the first is it the six books, and I also read Tales of a Shadow Hunter Academy. Uh, I haven't read the Bane Chronicles yet, but I guess that is a standalone rather than part of the original series. So I'm giving myself a pass, and I'm saying that I actually did finish that one. All in all, that wasn't majorly bad. Like I read quite a lot of those books that I wanted to, and I didn't read quite a lot of the ones that I wanted to either. <laughs> but uh, I'll ignore that one. Next up is the series that I wanted to start in 2018. Now, I had such high hopes for this, and I wrote down nine series that I wanted to start. Yeah. First up is Percy Jackson and the Lost Heroes, which I didn't start. Then there is A Court of Thorn and Roses, 
which I didn't start. Then there is Penryn and the End of Days, which I didn't start. Then there is This Savage Song, which, can you guess, I didn't start. Then we have Rhyming Rings, which I did not start. Also is Three Dark Crowns, which I didn't start. Then there's The Dark Tower, which I didn't start. <sighs> so two left. Two left. We have The Raven Cycle, which I did start. Yay! Catherine wasn't so much of a failure. You know, wait, I only read the first book. I am a failure. And the last book series that I said I was going to start this year, I also did start. It was Illuminae, and I, again, only read the first book because I am a piece of trash that cannot stick to goals, apparently. Go figure. On the bright side, I did really did enjoy The Raven Boys and Illuminate. They were both really great, and, uh, you know, I still have high hopes for all the other ones. Just didn't, didn't get there, didn't get around to it. Next up is the series that I said I was going to reread in 2018, because I wanted to devote some time to rereading. There are a lot of books that I really love that I'd really like to reread. Um, we'll see how that went. First up was the Magician's Guild series by Trudy Carnarvon, and uh, I read the first one. Are you sensing a theme? I'm sensing a theme. Hmm. I definitely want to pick up the other two, it just kind of... I just didn't have time. The second and third books are bigger, and I just didn't have time to read them, so I was like... Sadness. But I will get around to reading them. I, I think I, they're the sort of ones that I can just pick up at any time because I did read them a couple of times when I was younger. Then we have The Bottle Instruments, um, which, as I said, I completed that. Like, I'd read the first three before, so I reread the first three and then carried on. So uh, I did actually complete that one. Then we have The Shannara Chronicles uh, by Terry Brooks, I think. And I did finish that. I thought the first book was a big pile of trash, which was a Lord of the Rings ripoff. The second book I actually enjoyed, was really good, and the third book was a repeat of the first book. He does get a lot better though, because I read other books about him that were much more enjoyable. Uh, even in that, like, the Shadow Ray universe, it was much more enjoyable than those three. Next was a reread of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, because trying to do that in preparation for Heroes of Lost Hero, whatever's To Meet Heroes! Yeah. And... I did manage to reread all of Percy Jackson, the first one, and just didn't get around to the series after it. Next was the Draenei series by David Gemmell, and I read some of these. It's a very long series, there are like, I think, 11 books in it, and I think I read something like seven of them, so I think I did pretty well there. I like to uh, alternate David Gemmell's books because otherwise I can just get sucked into the world and then I'm never gonna leave it. Then I said I was gonna reread the Wicked Lovely series and I read the first book in that series and didn't continue with it because it was just never quite in the right frame of mind, which is weird because the second book is my favourite in the, the, like, the whole series, it has my favourite characters in, and I just think I was like not ready to go back into that, so I didn't read it. I'll pick it up eventually. And the last one is the Regant series by David Gemmell and uh, just didn't pick that up at all. I was too busy. I picked up some of his other series, weirdly, and just not that one. Um, so yeah, you win some, you lose some. So next up, I wrote a list of books that I wanted to read, and then I just kept kind of adding to it. So you can kind of, I don't know if you can see the colours. Um, I just kept adding to it, and the ones that I coloured in, I actually did read, and I think I read some more of them after. So instead of reading all of these out, because there's a lot of books on here, I read a lot of books, and I didn't read a lot of books apparently, I'll just count up the numbers and let you know how many I did read and didn't read of the ones that I wanted to. I read 22 of the books on this list. And 13 of them I didn't read. So that's quite good really. I will not turn my nose up at that. That's like almost two thirds of those. Is maths. Those are all the goals that I wrote down at the beginning of the year and was like, yeah, I want to do that. Now we're going to move on to my Goodreads, um, which I have here on my phone. This is like the least user friendly uh, app ever. I, I hate this app. It's so bad. Your shit, and you know you are. Your shit, and you know you are. Why do we even bother? 
I was going to try and find that year and review thing that Goodreads do. Uh, the mobile interface for the Goodreads app and the Goodreads mobile is just terrible, so uh, you're just going to have to deal with me trying to, trying to remember what it said. So my Goodreads goal for the year was to read 100 books, and I definitely managed to do that because we're on the 15th of December and I have read 104 books so far. I'm hoping to read at least three more. Fingers crossed. So I have beaten that goal, I'm really happy about that. I don't think I'm going to go for something so high next year because uh, I happen to have some really lucky months and now that I've changed job, I it's not as achievable for me to have read so many audiobooks as I used to be able to and, you know, I kind of want to just give myself a little bit of breathing room. I'm really proud of myself for actually managing to do 100 books though. <laughs> That's like... huge. So according to Goodreads, from my memory, the biggest book that I read this year was a reread of It. And uh, I'm not surprised because that's like over a thousand pages. The physically biggest book that I read this year was the Attack on Titan Colossal Edition. But, you know, that's because that was huge. The smallest book that I read this year was The Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft. And that's because that was like 40 pages long, at most. One thing I did this year that I really wanted to do, that I kind of decided midway through the year, was read some more graphic novels. I picked up a couple different graphic novels and just started reading them, and I'm really enjoying that. And I think that I'm gonna uh, increase the number of graphic novels and manga that I actually read. They just gave me a little bit of a break from like heavier type stories, so I really kind of like that. There was also a month where I decided that I would only read books that were over 400 pages, and I really enjoyed doing that, because it kind of gave me a variety. So I had like really short ones, really big ones, I think the year was really well done. And looking back over a lot of the books that I read, I seem to like most of them. There are very few that I thought were absolute trash, so I'm gonna count this as a win for the year. I think even though I didn't read a lot of the books that I said that I wanted to, the books that I did read I really enjoyed for the most part. So, you know, I'm gonna count that. That's fine by me. Happy year well spent. Please let me know if you read any of the book series that I said I was gonna read and didn't get around to even starting. I obviously need a push in that direction. Let me know what you thought of them if you have, because I need that push. Please. Push. Also, tell me how your goals went. Did you have any goals that you didn't complete or did complete? Are you way more productive than I was? <laughs> and way better at sticking to goals that you set out for yourself? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.